there. How are you doing today? It's another beautiful sunny day. What are the chances? I remember this time last year, we'd have been out in that garden planting all of those plants, making sure they were all nice and watered, weren't they? That was a really good time. I miss doing that. My garden's not as big as our school garden. It's really small and it's very overgrown. I could do with some of you children here to help me sort it out. That That's an idea, actually. I'll do, we'll do a trade. I'll do phonics if you come and do my garden. How about that? We can get the little scissors and you can cut the lawn. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go through what we're going to do today. Um, we're still carrying on with uh, revising our phase five. Just got to do lots and lots of practice. And it, it all clicks eventually. Just lots and lots and lots and lots of practice. But luckily you've got me to make it fun. <laughs> Through your television screens or however you're watching me. Um, so today we're going to have another look at the alternative spellings of E. The ones that we did previously. And we'll just do a bit of matching like we did yesterday. And then we're going to do... The, the three alternative spellings of er, the sound er. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Have you got your whiteboard ready? And your pen, oh my goodness, children, you're not going to believe what I found. A pen! <laughs> and guess where it was? You'll never guess. Where, where is everything of mine? Where I store everything and it's not in the cupboard at school because I can't go into school, can I? I'm not allowed. It was actually in my car. Found it in my car as I was tidying it. Well, I wasn't tidying it really. I was looking for something. But I found my pen. So isn't that handy? So I've got a pen that works now, so we'll see how long it lasts and we know the average age of a whiteboard pen then, don't we? We can plan ahead for the next budget. Um, so, can you write um, these three alternative spellings of E on your whiteboard? And then I'm going to read some words for you to write and I want you to write them under which one you think they go don't worry if you don't get them right, you can just change them, it's fine, it's fine, that's how you learn. So don't worry about it, no pressure. Okay, so we've got e, -e, -e we've got e -a, and we've got the split digraph, e, so there's a consonant in the middle of there. We've got nine words, so we'll see, they might work out nice and equally. Oh, I'm very chatty today, aren't I? You can, you can tell this is the first video I've done today. I'm very chatty. I, re I remember when I used to do takes, different takes, when I mess up my words. I just keep going now. I just keep babbling on. <laughs> okay. Um, first word. Miss Baldwin, shut up. Just get on with it. The first word, which E is the spelling for meat, as in meat the food that you eat okay meat like a chicken or steak meat you might have a meat pie write it in and we'll see meat meat the food is actually the e -a spelling so well done if you got that right but we can also spell it with the e, -e, -e. And that, that means to meet someone, if you meet your friend at the supermarket or if you meet your mum outside school. So that's the verb meet, but the meat that we eat. Oh, and that's a good way to remember actually, because eat, we use the e for eat. So we eat meat. Yeah. We'll go with yeah. Uh, okay, the next word is tree. Tree. 
Which one will it go under? Tree. And write it down. Let's have a look. It is the e, -E, -E. Tree. Well done if you got that one right. Okay, next one is... Oh, this is a mean one. Delete. Delete. If we make a mistake on the computer, we can press delete, can't we? And we can go back and try again. Delete. Have you written it? Delete. Delete. Let's have a look. It's the split diagraph. Well done if you got that one right. That was a tricky one. Good job. Right, next one is the word steam. Steam. Steam comes out of the kettle, doesn't it? When the water boils. Steam. Which one's that one? Ooh, it's the uh, uh, it's the middle one. Well done if you got that. Steam. Next one is the word read. We love to read, don't we? Read. I've been reading today. Reading every day, to be honest. Read. That's the e eh, at as well. Read. Well done if you got that one right. Okay, the next word is seen. Seen. I haven't seen any of my friends for a very long time. Seen. I haven't seen you boys and girls for a long time either. Seen. Oop, it's the eh, eh. Did you get that right? Well done if you did. Seen. Next word is even. 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 Like even numbers. Do you know any even numbers? What's the biggest even number you can think of? The highest even number. Even. You ready? Do, 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 do. It's the split diagraph. Well done if you got that. Even. And, oh, we've got two more. Um, the second to last one is been. And now this is the verb, like, I have been shopping today, or I have been for a walk. And I'll tell you what the other one is after. I don't want to confuse you. Bean. Here you go. Bean. Now, if you'd have put it with the a e spelling, that is also a way of spelling the word bean. But it's a different bean. It's the bean, like the beanstalk. Jack and the beanstalk. Or baked beans, the food. So again, it's like the food we eat. Beans. It's spelt with the eh, eh. I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe it's some kind of unwritten rule that all food with the E sound has the eh, eh spelling. I don't know. Maybe you could find out for me. And the last word is concrete. Concrete. It hurts when you bump your head on the concrete floor. Concrete. Let's see. It is the split diagraph. Well done if you got that. Good job. Well done. And that's all of them. So well done, we'll have another practice at some different ones today. You know, um, tomorrow, sorry, I've not got my rubber. I did have it. 
Hmm. And I'll just have to use this. Use that to rub it out. You use your rubbers. Uh, right, so we've done our E. Now we are going to look at the alter blah, 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 alternative spellings of R. Now I'm not going to give you 10 seconds because there's only three. I'll give you five seconds. Can you write as many different ways of writing er, the er sound as possible? Okay, ready, steady, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Pen down, stop, stop, pen down. Did you get them? Er. We have the single letter er. We have the silent oo. Er. That makes the er sound as well. And we also have this one, the double consonant. Er. There's two of them, it's a digraph, there's two of them, but how many sounds are there? Two letters, one sound, well done. Er. So we've got er, er, er. And when we say this sound, er, it's like er, we're growling at somebody, isn't it? Er. So those are our alternative ways of writing er. Now, I think I'm going to do things a bit differently today. We're going to read the words and then we're going to do a bit like what we did with the, um, with the E sound at the beginning. And I want to see if you can make a bit of an estimate, a bit of an educated guess as to which er it will use. Okay, so we'll read through the words first. The good thing with this sound is most of the time it is just the er, single letter er that makes that sound. So if in doubt, just go for that one, I would say. Right, are we ready? Should we see how quickly we can read these words? Ring, radio, rooster, rocket, running. Oh gosh, that's one K. <laughs> Rabbit, rap, rep. Wren. Wren is a, a type of bird. Wren. Little bird. Wrote. Write. Oh, look, it's in the middle here. Berry. E. Berry. Worry. Remember our E. Worry. Oh. It's not a nice word. Horrible. Oh my goodness. Terrible. And last one is tomorrow. Well done. Okay, let's write our three. Um alternative spellings of er on the top of your board if you can even draw some lines down i know you how you love drawing lines on your whiteboard yeah and then i'm going to give you the word you need to write which one it's in i'll show you and you can check and then if it's right you can just leave it there and if it's not right rub it out and move it into the correct one okay Understand? Super. Right, the first word is, I'm going to jumble them up. The first word is radio. Radio. I think that's a helicopter. Radio. Oh, I can see it. Radio. Oh, you had a bit of extra time there, didn't you? 
radio that goes under the single R. If you got that right, just leave it there. If not, move it over and write it in that one. Well done. Next word is wrap. Now there are two ways of writing this word. But I'm only going to give you a point for the one that we've just read. A bit like wrapping paper, you wrap a present. Wrap. Can you remember? It was the w -r spelling of er. Wrap. Next word is worry. Worry. If you ever have any worries, you know you can talk to your grown-ups or your teachers, your friends. Worry. Let's come back. Worry. Worry, that was the double consonant. Well done. Worry. Wrote. Wrote. Now this had the split digraph O sound at the end. Wrote. 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 Well done. And as well as wrote, write is um has the w -r way of writing. So if you're writing something, if you're writing something on a piece of paper, it's a bit like wrote. Okay, next one is rooster. 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 Well done. Next one is horrible. 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 Just arrange myself. Horrible. Have we done that? Horrible, it's the double consonant, well done. Horrible. Next word is rocket. Rocket. Rocket, well done. And next word is wren. That was a little bird. Wren. 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 Well done. And we'll do one more. The last word is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Get it? Tomorrow. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. Tomorrow. Well done. Get that one. Tomorrow. Good job. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to go find my rubber. Oh, it's where I left it. <laughs> of course it is. Right, I'm going to write a sentence for you to read. Oh gosh, it's a really long one. And then, I think I've given you the easy one actually. And then you are going to write one for me. Yours is a bit nicer to do. It's 
got some tricky words in. Have you all been reading lots at home anyway? Bet you've got loads of books, haven't you? Mine are all still in my car, all my children's books. Gonna have to get them out and put them on a shelf, I think. Keep them nice and safe. Oh, it's a load of nonsense, this one as well. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, look at this. It's a long one. Right, I'll point to the words and you read it. What a long sentence. <laughs> and a strange sentence as well. Should we read it together? He had a horrible worry about what was going to happen right after he wrote... Oh, sorry. He wrote a letter to the rooster. I wonder what was so horrible that was going to happen after he'd written a letter to the rooster. No idea. Okay. Your sentence is... The red berry was hanging off the tree, ready for the wren to eat. Do you remember wren was that little bird? The red berry was hanging off the tree, ready for the wren to eat. I'll write it as well. Right, I'll say it one more time. The red berry was hanging off the tree ready for the wren to eat. You managed to write it. Give a couple more seconds. Here we go. The red berry was hanging off the tree, ready for the wren to eat. Do you manage that? Well done if you did. It was quite a long one. It wasn't as easy as I thought I remembered it. Well done. Super job today. Right. That's our lesson done. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And enjoy taking part in some activities that we've sent you. Hope you're having a nice time. We miss you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.